Hello, I'm Metrilsim, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Vichy France, Fascist France. We are currently pushing inwards against the Soviet Union. We're literally about to go to war with Turkey in a few days once we've got our uh, Casas Bell and Justification for War. And we're going to push up here and then hopefully open a second front at the same time as taking out uh, most of Turkey and getting the oil supplies. Not oil supplies, it's chromium we get from Turkey. It's the oil supplies we want here from the Caspian Sea. Now, I've also got a front with the British Raj, which should be getting reinforcements relatively soon. Once these guys get up there, and some of them uh, pop down here and just take out this island. We want Singapore, thank you very much. Improved computing machine is now ours. Excellent research bonus. I'm going to go for decryption. That way we can get uh, another bonus to attack. How's construction doing? A lot of stuff to be fixed. A lot of stuff to be fixed there. Mostly because we attacked it and destroyed it when we're doing that, but whatever. Right, that means we now have... Singapore. Stop whatever you're doing. And give me... A front line. Here. This is going to be important because while everyone else is pushing generally, I want you to specifically push... to get that and try and cut these guys off. I do have a port down here. Oh, that's a justification war against uh, Turkey. Thank you, Turkey. Take it from here. Um, let's just check the air cover. Technically, I could station some of my fighters out of Italy because uh, they do have um, Dodecassian, whatever, and that would be a better fit for Turkey, but uh, the risk is they're just going to get taken. So I'm going to station my fighters from here still. Um, they don't have as much efficiency. If we check the efficiency, you'll see that they have uh, lacking range complete cover error minus 77%, but we'll work on it. Hello. We're going to go war. And I am just going to say conquer. I'm not going to call on my allies. Just mm, I could. Now I'm not calling them in just yet. Try as well separate. Turkey joined the Allies, it was expected. And I was emerged, so I might as well call in Germany. Oh. They're already persistent. Oh well, I guess because they got merged. Sure. Okay, push against that front. Early wins are important. Yes. Do I have S priority? Yes, I do. Yeah, we're taking names here. Which is exactly what I wanted. Hello, what's this? Uh, we fought against the British uh, and failed. Unfortunately, familiar. Um, now we did. Yeah, we've got our fighters over here. I haven't actually given them a job just yet. I'd like them to move up to a closer airbase, though. Oh, can it handle the amount of... It can handle the amount of aircraft. Okay. We managed to research landing craft. So, yeah, more bombers helping with support. It'll be very useful because so far this is kind of stagnated. Research. We just did landing craft. Max landing craft is a fair few years away. We've got to consider uh, beating the Royal Navy. And I'm going to partly do that through use of going carriers. But I also need battleship tech. Push in. I don't see much pushing. I see undefended territories that could be attacked right now. Yeah, you are actually moving. That's fine. Oh, 
No, I didn't mean to attack, but oh well. Guess we're attacking. All right, how are we doing down here? Made a little bit of land. I'm able to find path to target. I'm not even sure what they're trying to do, but sure, I'm happy that they can't find a target. There are aircraft. Hello, aircraft. How are you? I'm making some headway there, not a lot. How about you, uh, Turkey? Um, start to slow down now. They've redistributed their forces. Okay. How's the paratrooper training going? We're up to 12. Uh, you don't want 24. Tank battalion over here. I'm gonna add you to the French theatre. And Soviet Union slowing down, but we're still getting progress. They're blunting our direct like point of our uh, arrow, but we are making headway. What the hell is this? I am. Siam, what? Okay, so Siam must have power dropped some troops in. Quite how it got the troops there, I'm not sure. It must have been based out of Finland? But why is Siam even a. I have no idea, but Siam must have power dropped to get here. Naval focus, okay. So weird. What the hell is Siam doing? Uh, carry focus or capital ship focus? I'm going to go carry focus. And that means we'll get two times research bonus for carriers, which is going to be very useful because we're actually going the next carrier, and then we can probably skip ahead in time and even get the next couple of carriers early. Very early, possibly. Oh, yeah, we're just crushing them now. Assassination of Leon Trotsky. Leon Trotsky, once the top lieutenant and heir presumptive to Vladimir Lenin, died in Mexico City Hospital. He was attacking his home with an ice pick. Uh, with an ice axe by a Spanish national believed to be employed by the NKVD. Oh, isn't that lovely? Okay, doing rather well there. We are losing a lot of population, by the way. We lost 100k in the last couple of episodes. Actually, in the last like, one episode. How about South Africa? Oh, nearly done. One province left, Cape Town. Uh, oh, 13 divisions, yes. I will actually really appreciate 13 divisions. And... Come on. There we go. South Africa's capitulated. Great news. We own so much. Okay. Um, new fronts here and um, select half the current divisions. New front line here. Defensive line. There we go. And I'll tell you what to do when you get there. Probably just jump on it. The idea being we just crush these. Maybe we'll pop up to Liberia. Take out Liberia. It's got a bit of rubber there, I think. Uh, two convoys from the Soviet Union. Three from Great Britain. Five for Great Britain. Two for Great Britain. No more? Ooh, hello. Five for Great Britain. Five for Great Britain. Wow. Um... And we'll be able to mostly dominate. Now, the only difference... Um, so, the only thing left is going to be, apart from my allies, after that will be Portugal. And they are tending towards fascism, communism, no democracy, actually. The question is, do I want to crush them or get them on side? I'm going to leave them for the moment. I don't know. Ooh, hello. Definitely stalled here. But we are doing well. It's going to be a race between me and Germany to get to Moscow. I see some tanks. Nothing crazy. Good. 
Oh, for God's sake, Siam, what are you doing? How did you come back so easily? This is like, surely this is like illegal. Uh, Romania wants to send me two. That's fine. And why did you dump those troops that you sent me? National Spain just sent me 12, and I'm not sure where they are. There they are. If I could do a naval invasion, I would love to. Actually, I can do a naval invasion. Might not be amazing. Yeah, let's do a naval invasion. So, I want you in the Middle Eastern Theatre, so... 11 there. Commander... I need a new commander. Adrian Hartz. And then once you get to here... We're going to start planning a naval invasion. From here... To... Here. That's going to take me 38 days to plan. Suits me fine. And the idea being that we'll be able to crush them between our two forces. Not badly positioned at all. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciated, Romania. I'm not sure where the nationalist troops are. Oh, wait, no, they're all over the place. I see them now. Wow, uh, yeah. I guess we could do a naval invasion... here? I mean, where else would I really want to do a naval invasion? Into the Soviet Union? Wait, this is Japan. I thought it was Siam. I could have sworn it said Siam. I mean, no, this is Japan. Japan... I'm not even sure what Japan are doing. They must have got parachutes from here. But... Sure. Um... Yeah, I'll do another naval invasion. I'm gonna have to get a new commander. Wow. It's gonna be expensive in the end of the day. And then... around this port. Okay. And see they've got little timers on the side. These are the planning and getting ready for the invasion stuff. You can see five, six... Of the uh, 38 days have gone by. Okay, we have Marines. Excellent. All right, research slot available. Uh, I'm going to go... Oh, I don't want to waste my... Like, it's still a third of a year away, that. Working on a new carrier, air. We really should go for the new fighter. It, it is well past time we went for the new fighter. Oh, what else would we like? New fighter, we want the new naval bomber at some point as well. I don't send 11. Sure, keep sending me more forces, Italy. That's, that's grand. Um, elastic defense. Organization plus one to tanks and arm variants. Max speed plus 10%. Reinforce rate. I'm not going to grab this just yet. I've got a lot of other stuff I need to grab right now. Um, for instance, I've been thinking about the next time we get a medium tank. Every time we get a tank battalion, we'll also mix in an, a uh, tank destroyer. 
so that we have basically units that can be our army units that can also function against tanks attacking like fortresses and stuff as well. So we don't need a heavy tank. Um, I would like loads of things here. Uh, we need the naval bomber. We put it off so long. Well, since the beginning of this year. But yeah, we need the 8 naval bomber. And then we're going to research the carrier mounted variants. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Get in the same place. Oh, we also want to start producing some marines. It's quite this template doesn't go down further. I'm not sure. Edit. Logistics, because you may need to be able to hold a beachhead. Uh, signal company, so you can act fast. Artillery, so you can break through. Um. Ooh. choices. Engineer company, because they have an amphibious attack bonus. We need an engineer company. Plus 25% amphibious attack. Maintenance or field hospital? I think field hospital. And we'll also increase the number of marines there. Right. I'll save that. And you notice that we have, if we do river, attack plus 40, movement 25, defense, amphibious, attack 75. So yeah, we've got a load of good attack bonuses in a number of places. But they are going to be primarily for punching through. Right, let's train them. And we're going to train, ooh, probably 12 at once. In batches of two. I'm going to train them in Poitho. Yeah, we're producing enough equipment right now that I feel we can do that. Because you see, these have got they've got more equipment than we actually have um, training. So we're, we're kind of limited by the training speed. Yeah, right. What else do we want to do? We've got like, so much like ground experience, we should just mess with some things. So let's have a mess with our medium armor. Uh, let's add a maintenance company to make sure it doesn't break down as much. Engineer would give us some fourth attack and defense. Save that. What else? Um, infantry. We've got artillery. We've got hospital. We've got recon. We've got logistics. Sure, let's have an engineer company. Motorized. Maintenance. Save them from breaking down. Alpine. You don't give a bonus to attacking... You give a bonus, defensive bonus to hills. You don't really give anything to attacking mountains and stuff, which is your specialty. So I'm just going to go for a signal. What about paratroopers? Yeah, you could do with... Um, yeah, you give attack bonuses. And you're all about needing to do the attack. So, yeah. That seems good to me. I should probably train a few more motorized divisions. So, how are we doing for general troops? We're not even producing general troops right now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to train some more troops and some more motorized. It's going to have a knock-on effect on our manpower. So eventually we're going to need to mess around with our manpower. But for now, yeah, we're going to train a load of stuff in Avignon. Four times four is sixteen. Uh, we'll also train eight units of motorized, and I am planning on ooh, actually not eight units of motorized, just four, because I am planning on adding some mechanized forces soon, which will have light tanks accompanying them and then armored cars. Ooh, it's looking a bit dodgy here. It's going to be a very expensive front in terms of lives if we keep moving to Moscow. There. That said, Moscow. Probably going to be worth it. 
Ooh, the Soviet Union now controls this. They managed to push out Germany. That is interesting. How goes our front down here? I might temporarily put the plan on hold, because we are about to invade. Right, there we go. Now, because this front is currently costing us quite a lot in terms of lives, I'm going to temporarily stop it and wait for our assault. I know it's transport to target. Okay, well, whatever you say, Bob. You are how far away from your assault? Yeah, like 16 days. So basically, we're going to stop our assault for 16 days. And then when they uh, amphibiously invade from this direction, we're going to push trap this force and then push this way and I don't think that enough supplies because this port is going to be taken this port is actually Soviet Union yeah okay I like it so he's going to go down expand our holdings in the uh, I guess Middle East slash Europe getting Istanbul is going to be very important Ankara is victory point okay I kind of suspect we're doing Istanbul but okay I guess it'll be a little bit more vulnerable to attack. Um, how are we doing down here? You're pushing inwards. You've surrounded the target. Please just attack them. They're cut off from reinforcements. They'll go down like a stack of bricks. And how is Siam doing? Frustrating. Are you not just... What are you doing? You're assigned to this front. Why are you not just spreading out around it? I'm so confused about what you're doing right now. Are the troops going to spread out? It appears not. Okay. In which case... my troops to do stuff themselves. Since obviously no one else can be trusted. Alright, there we go. And then you 10 should just assault Bangkok and prevent them from doing that. That's... I don't know why they're not doing it. Might be because they're having some issues with pathfinding or something. Oh no, Japan! Don't, don't do this! This is my land. Piss off. Okay, well, since you've done that... Pull off frontage back to here. A new plan is just to do an all-out offensive and take everything we can off here. Oh, Siam, do you work for me? My god, all this episode I've been worrying about Siam, but actually they work for me. I thought I owned them? So they did do a naval invasion. I, I, wait, I thought I, like, I, I took them over. Why do they exist now? I'm so confused. Oh. Okay, that explains why they weren't being attacked. Hmm. The more you learn... Well, we're going to push our offensive straight into the main territory now. Oh, well, thank you for that, Siam. More oil. Ugh. Need to get all independent. That involves getting Iran. But that'll be next episode. I've been really soon. If you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Let me know down below what you think is going on right now in terms of, you know, this is success or fail. Could be either. Could be either. I know I went to attack Siam there and turns out Siam wanted to be my friend. 
Uh, ooh, I've also pressed a button which has changed the colors. No, I would like it on allies, not countries. If you do countries, by the way, it's like, look, it's orange, Ash is Spain, it's green, it's Portugal, it's blue, it's me. It's another type of blue, it's the United States. And it just gets a little bit too similar. Sweden! So I tend to just leave it on uh, allies and me, allies, and enemies, and then neutrals. But, like I said, I'm an Atlassian. We lost a bomber. No one got killed. No one got killed. We need more naval bombers, really. 23 is just not going to cut it off. Six or whatever we are at the moment. Uh, but yeah, until next time.